while we can't speculate on the number, that we anticipate that it will be somewhere in the range of five to six billion dollars. Uh, now, as I've said before, and I continue to qualify, we don't know yet exactly what the final number will be. This is an incredibly complex matter, and it is happening in real time. And there are projects taking place now, and there are projects that will continue to take place, and I would suggest there are projects that we haven't even yet contemplated that we're going to have to put in place. So in terms of a number, we'll put it there for now, and we'll continue to keep uh, the public informed with respect to the, the, the fiscal situation that we're in with respect to that. If we're talking about watershed management, building berms, building dikes, building water reservoirs, you know, we've got to do that in a way where everyone has confidence moving forward. So I wouldn't uh, characterize this as anything uh, beyond our ability to being able to pull together some very good ideas, some very good technical experts, and put that in place into an action plan that allows us to move forward. Frankly, we can't wait. We need to get this work done because today is the beginning of October. I was in Edmonton yesterday and it snowed in Sherwood Park. And there are still people that we want to make sure are safe and secure over the winter. There is work that needs to be done now because it can't be done over the winter to ensure that communities are protected when next spring comes. So while, of course, municipal elections are important, there is very important technical work that can go on, that has gone on, and needs to go on now so that we can continue to protect Albertans.